Hey, what's up everyone? Glock9 here and welcome back to Pal World. In this episode, I plan on taking on our first tower boss. However, get back to work. However, I don't think I am ready to do that just yet. Here are my best tames and I don't think that lineup is quite good enough to take on a tower boss. Here's what I do have on me, 99 fire arrows, I got some copper keys in case we come across a locked chest, we can use those to open one of them, I've got a fire bow, I've got some new armor, the tropical outfit, I've got a hairband, which protects us from lethal head injuries, uh, so we're looking alright, just not good enough for a tower boss yet, so instead we're gonna go fight one of these mini bosses you can find around the map, we're gonna go for this one, Chalette, the best a man can get, the mammoth, is level 38, we're not ready to fight the Mammoth yet, but Chillette's only a level 11. I think we can definitely take that thing on and hopefully capture it and add it to our army. So, let's fast travel to this location. Okay, we have to head south now. This way. We can throw down the Melpaca and ride it because I crafted a saddle for this thing. Pretty sweet. The saddle does not change the appearance of the tame, as you can see. I mean, it doesn't now anyway, maybe it will in the future. When you craft one, you acquire it from the workbench, and then it automatically equips to that tame. It doesn't uh, go into your inventory or anything like that, so I was a little confused at first, but uh, pretty simple. We'll probably craft another saddle for another one of our creatures later on in this episode, and then I'll get to show you how that all works. But again, like I said, pretty simply, you just craft it and acquire it, and it automatically equips. So here is Chillette, and I'm going to hop off of uh, the Malpaca here so I can get some damage with my Firebow and uh, let the Malpaca fight on her own. Now, this shouldn't be a very difficult fight. I've got three other tough tames on me, so if the Malpaca gets hurt, I can throw out a new one, or I can switch out the Thames whenever I want. I can pick up the Malpaca right now and drop the Nightwing. I can only have one out at a time, though. Um, the challenge here is going to be whittling this thing's hit points down to as low as possible without killing it so I can attempt to capture it. Now, the Malpaca does not know my plan, so it will just keep attacking it until it's dead. So, once the Chillette's hit points get a little lower... Uh, that's good. Give me the Melpaca. Okay, now it's just me versus Gillette. Now let's give it a shot. 37%, probably not going to happen, but I've got more Pal Spheres on me. Oh, look at this, 67. Oh, we did it! Bam, dude, boss first kill. Acquired one ancient technology point, and we got the Gillette. Dude, that was sweet. What else did we get? Precious Pelt. Can be sold to a merchant for a high price. Cool. And we got four ancient civilization parts. And we got that ancient tech point. And what can we spend that on? Oh, the egg incubator. And I got everything to craft that thing. And I've got some eggs at home that I need to incubate. Dude, that really worked out. That was way easier than I thought it would be. All right, well, let's cruise around for a bit. Maybe do some murdering. If you don't know... You get different resources by killing different pals, like you can get wool from killing the lambs. And most importantly, right now, you can get flame organs from killing the fire foxes, which is what I need. I'm going to need more flame organs to make more fire arrows, to repair my fire bow, and to also repair the armor that I'm currently wearing. So let's see if we can find some of them. What's going on up here? Oh shit, they're attacking the merchant? Hey, fuck off! I need that merchant to sell stuff to! Get out of here! These pricks. That one's dead. Ah, oh, the merchant is dead too, though. Man, what the fuck? I didn't know these guys just, like, tried to rob the merchant and shit. What is the Nightwing doing? Is it eating the dead? That's crazy. Now well, we can't even search the merchant. Well, at least we got some ammo out of the deal. Uh, and a little bit of coin, too. We got four of the Firefoxes down here. Let's get them. Here we go. 
I got a piece of leather from that one as well. Oh, a couple more flame organs. Another piece of leather from that one. Let's get these two. Well, that little adventure worked out perfectly. Hopefully, the next one does too. Whoa! Thanks for the help. But, you know, I had everything under control. It was just some chickens. I can handle chickens by myself. Been doing it for years. Alright, you keep working on these fire arrows. I put in this furnace as well, which we can make ingots from ore and charcoal from wood. However, you need a firefox to run the furnace. We can't run it. They need to. So, if you put down a furnace, you need to have a firefox in your, uh... Oh, shit. We're getting raided. Okay. Uh... Let's put all the worker bees back into the pal box and release all the fighters. All right. Where's it coming from? Up there again? Ah, uh, well, we don't really got to worry about that. I've been raided from this location before, and they just all stand there. I mean, we could shoot at them if we want, but kind of a waste of arrows. Because it will just, the raid will just end after a certain amount of time. This particular base location spawns raids from that area, and like I said, it just, it's like a stalemate. So, whatever. We did level up, so let's enhance our stats. I kind of want to put a point into attack, but it only bumps it up by two points, whereas if I put it into HP, it bumps it up by a hundred. So that seems like the better deal. Uh, yeah, let's go HP this time, and maybe we'll do attack next time. We got tech points to spend. Let's unlock the pelt armor. The meat cleaver. No, we don't need that right now. We do need the medieval medicine workbench, though. That's part of the quests. Uh, assault rifle for the monkey. Hell yeah. And a saddle for the deer. And that's it for now. We have to make that medieval workbench, though. Like I said, it's part of the quests to continue upgrading the base. So, let's get that built. We need nails. We can craft those in the workbench. See, the raid is over. Didn't have to do anything. That guy's still working on the fire arrow, so we'll use this workbench to make the nails. There we go. Help me build this shit. One of the nicest things about this game is that you don't have to have resources on you when crafting things using a workstation. As long as you have the resources in storage, you're good. So you don't have to constantly keep running back and forth and grabbing different materials and whatnot. There we go. Let's see what we can craft out of this workbench. Low-grade medical supplies. They don't heal HP when eaten, however. Okay. Medical supplies... They treat ulcers and fractures. Uh, I haven't had either one of those yet, thankfully. Uh, this treats the weakened and the depressed. Oh, I've got a depressed cat. I'm gonna need one of these. This increases work speed for a period of time, but lowers sanity. And this significantly increases work speed, but significantly lowers sanity. What do I use to get hit points back, though? I don't know. There's our egg incubator. Hold on, let me get some pals to help us build it. That's my depressed cat. I need to make that medical injection so I can make her happy again. And then I'll overwork her until she's depressed and then inject her again. It's a vicious cycle, baby. I tell you. That's life, though. Bam! Bam! Set egg. Okay, I know exactly what egg I want to use. I got a large one here. Boom. Let's put it in there and see what happens. 30 minutes. Oh, well. And let's go fight another boss to kill time. There's one of the... These goo mosses on the map here on this island. Level 11. Shouldn't be a problem. The little ones, uh, they're good for planting seeds, so... That's what they do. I got a couple of the smaller ones. They're pretty uh, weak and defenseless, so I imagine this uh, this boss isn't going to be too tough. 
All right, hold up. We got to try and snag these dire wolves here. Chill, Malpaca. Don't kill it. Come on. Give it to me. Yes, there's one. One more shot. And you're mine. Bam. Two dire wolves. Here we go. I, I crafted that assault rifle for the monkey, so we're going to start off with the monkey and see uh, what it can do. Plus, you know, monkey with the machine gun. That's hilarious. Get it, monkey. Shoot it. What are you doing? Why are you throwing dirt at it? Where's your gun? Ow. I made it. It's friggin' gun. Why aren't you shooting it? If you look at the bottom center of the screen, you'll notice it says hold F to activate the cheery rifle. Unfortunately, I did not notice that at the time. That's also hilarious. They call it the cheery rifle. Like we're spreading cheer with bullets. Well, if you're not going to use it, then I'll get someone else to help out. Even though this guy is super weak. Look at him. I'm still going to try and capture him, though, because why the hell not, right? Capture everyone. That's my motto. I'm like a for-profit prison. Give them all to me, baby. The more I got, the more it benefits me. All right, one more shot, and oh, damn it. I should have picked that wolf up sooner. I didn't know he was going to do some crazy charge attack. Oh, well. He wasn't that tough anyway. What did we get from that thing? Precious entrails can be sold to a merchant for a high price. And uh, that's it. Did get another tech point, though. Let's see. Small feed bag. Unlocks a food slot in your inventory. Players and pals automatically consume food when hungry. Ooh. Grappling gun. Yeah, that sounds way better than the food bag. Let's unlock that. So there's another boss on this island. Should be right up here. It's a level 11. Called Sweepa. It's a giant cat. That's what it looks like anyway. Looks like it's got some minions with it. I'm not too worried though. I've got minions with me also. We're going to see how Chillette fares in a fight. Get him, Chillette! Oh, is Chillette attacking the minions? Whatever. You get the minions then, Chillette. I'll get the big one. Shouldn't be that hard of a fight. Oh my god, Chillette's getting the shit kicked out of him. And Chillette is down. Uh, that doesn't mean Chillette is dead. He's just knocked out. So we just gotta put him in the POW box and... After 10 minutes, he'll get revived, which is kind of cool. So even if one of your pals gets destroyed in battle like Chillette just did, you don't lose that pal. You just got to drop him in the pal box. So pretty nice. All right, we're getting down to the wire here. 30%. Yes. Come on, baby. Yes. Got him. Boss first kill. That's not my first kill. I've gotten boss kills before. Why does it say that? Maybe that particular boss. Anyway, doesn't matter. We did it. Got ourselves a big cat. Got another precious pelt. Got more ancient civilization parts. And we got another ancient tech point. What is this? Pal Essence Condenser. Um, I'm going to just hold on to this point for now. Let's put this into attack. And we are looking good. Now, I captured that cat even though I had a full party. So I don't know where that goes. If that capture goes directly into the PAL box or not. I hope we got it. We'll check the PAL box once we get back home. Matter of fact, let's head there now. Okay, let's pop this open. Let's throw all of our tames in here. We got two wolves. Now we can sort this by 
level. There's Chillette re reviving. And there's our cat. Beautiful. Oh, I'm so excited. It's like I'm about to be a mom for the first time. Okay, now what? Incubate egg. Isn't that what I just did? Incubation complete. Nox was born. If you find Nox hair in your bedding, you should leave it where it lays and leave immediately. Picking it up is a one-way ticket to never-ending night. When fighting together, applies dark damage to the player's attacks. Oh, that's cool. I guess all creatures hatched from an egg start at level one, so we'll just have to get into some fights with Nox and level that thing up. We need more fire arrows before we fight this tower boss. Let's put this in here for now. I made that pelt armor. It protects against cold, which doesn't matter for the fight, but it does have a higher defense than the armor I was wearing, so that'll help out a little bit. Oh, shit. Come on. Really? It's not coming from up there this time. Here we go. All right, well, let's deal with this raid first. Oh, you can't run away, bitch. You started this fight. Now, I'm gonna finish it. You're mine. Come on. Bam. And you're mine, too. That's one nice thing about raids. It's basically like new pals coming to your base, and you can just capture them. You don't even gotta, like, leave home. All right, let's round up the team and head over to the tower. Here we are. Let me show you what I'm working with. I've got 122 fire arrows, my fire bow, of course, my shield, my pelt armor, headband that protects against head injuries. My team is the dino, the uh, nightwing, Chillette, the deer, and the big cat. So hopefully that's good enough. Here we go. 30,000 hit points. Oh, this is going to be interesting. I hope I brought enough arrows. I'm just going to go for headshots on the creature. Because I feel like if I try and shoot the girl, I'm just going to miss most of the time. And we got to make the most of what we've got here. I think my strategy is going to be pick up the pal when it's in danger. And drop it back down. When I feel like it's good to go. And I'm also going to switch through pals during the fight. I'm not going to just let Dino fight until it dies. You know what I mean? Instead, I'm just going to kind of switch him up. Look at that. See? Pull Dino away from that attack. That's how you got to do it. Nice. These pillars protect you. So I think uh, it's going to take a little bit just because of how many hit points this thing has. But holy shit. Uh, with this strategy, we should be fine. The only thing that I'm worried about is I don't have anything to um, heal myself. I mean, hit points do regenerate. But it's not like I have any first aid kits or anything, you know? So... It's going to be all about not getting hit. See, I can't even hit her. I don't think shooting her makes a difference. You got to go for the creature. Nice. Oh, not nice. Fuck. That didn't even hurt me. Well, it took away my armor. That's what it did. My shield, I mean. But the shield does regenerate after a certain amount of time. And that is the blue bar above my green health bar. 
the orange bar below my green health bar. That's just my food. That really doesn't matter right now. Oop. I do have PAL spheres on me, but I don't think you can capture the tower bosses. I think we're just meant to defeat them. Speaking of which, Dino's doing all right. Oh, shit. Nope. 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 I'm stuck. Run. Uh, but Dino's doing okay in terms of his health, but he's not doing much damage, so I'm gonna pick him up and drop in Nightwing. See if Nightwing can do some more damage, because we are limited to 10 minutes here. We only got a little over 7 minutes left to defeat this thing. I don't know what happens when the timer runs out, but I imagine if we don't kill this boss in time, we fail. So, that's just another added challenge here. Uh, our shield has completely regenerated, and our health will regenerate with time also, slowly, but if you look at it, it's filling back up. Sixty-four arrows left, so we're about halfway through the arrows. The only thing else I have on me is a spear. I don't think the spear is going to do much to this thing. Oh shit, Nightwing got knocked out. Oh, that's my bad. I should have been paying more attention. Bring Chalette into the fight. But if I would have picked up Nightwing before she got knocked out, her health would have been regenerating while she was like, you know, back in the PAL sphere. That's why you shouldn't just like let a PAL fight until it gets knocked out. When it's losing health, pick it up, bring in a different pal. So the uh, first one can regen health while it's uh, in your inventory, you know what I mean? So that was my bad, I should have been paying more attention. Well, uh, we got this boss down to less than half its health, and we have more than half the time left. That's a good sign that we should be able to get this done. Run! Well, there goes my shield again, but that attack doesn't uh, do any damage to our health, so whatever. Now, Chalette's doing a good job. I like that freeze attack right there. But I'm going to pick her up and bring the deer into the fight. See how that goes. Oh, nice. Uh-oh. Give me that deer. Let's bring the cat in. I did have some other options in terms of the bow. There was um, something called the triple shot bow. I guess it shoots three arrows at a time. I, I was wondering if that would have been better than the fire bow, but... Fire bow seems to be doing a pretty good job. Uh, problem with the fire bow is, you know... To, to craft more arrows and to repair the bow, you need that, that fire gland. So you got to grind a little bit more for the ammo and such. Look, we can use the cat as a little shield here. That's pretty sweet. We got four minutes left, and this boss has less than a quarter of its health left. So... Uh, oh, shit. Unless it's got, like, some secret attack up its sleeve, I think we've got this fight sewn up. Even though I've only got ten arrows left. I mean, my pals are doing most of the damage anyway, but I want to help, you know? Four left. Oh, no, the, the cat got knocked out. Not good. Let's bring the deer back in. And I've got one arrow left. There it is. Take that. Oh, 30, around 30 points of damage with the spear. So, not really doing much. Shit. The deer's knocked out. Bringing Chalette back in. Gillette and the dino is all I have left. 
Come here. Let me stab you in the butt. Fuck. We are close. 2,000 hit points left. Two minutes left. Ow. All right, I'm picking Chillette up. And I'm bringing the dino in. We're so close. 320 hit points. And that's it. Boss eliminated, baby. Boss first kill. <laughs> Acquired five ancient tech points. What else did we get? Rain Syndicate Tower. Oh, we're at the top of the tower here. And we can fast travel to this location. Look at the view from up here. If it was at night, it would be better. But I can see all sorts of shit from up here. And you know what? We can parachute from up here. We gotta unlock the parachute. Get one of those crafted. Then we can fast travel up here and jump off. That's gonna be sweet. Well, other than those ancient tech points, I don't think we got anything else. No. We didn't. Six ancient tech points, 14 regular tech points to spend. We didn't level up there, so I can't enhance my stats anymore. Three knocked out pals. That could have went a little better, but we won. So how much better do you want it to be? You know what I mean? Plus, they're not gone. We just need to drop them in the pal box, and they will regenerate. Here we go, that completes the level 8 missions. Now we are at level 9. We need to craft a cooler box and a sphere workbench. There's a saddle for Chillette, and when we acquire it, it automatically equips. It does not go into our inventory. Come here, Chillette. Oh, yeah. That's different. Let's see what Chillette can do. Dragon cannon. Pew! All right, now Ice Missile. Ice Missile, I hit the stone mostly. Let's do the burst. Nice. Let's be careful not to hit the Mammoth or else we will die. Oh, that's fun. Let's drop another egg in the incubator. And that's going to be it for this episode, but I'm going to keep playing this game because I'm having a lot of fun with it. It's a pretty sweet-ass game. Uh, I'm really enjoying it. Hope you guys are enjoying watching it because I definitely plan on making uh, more videos on this game in the future. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thank you so much for watching and all of the support. You guys are the best. You can follow me on Instagram or Twitter if you want. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more, and I will catch you guys in the next video.